I'm Steve Casado with Adrenaline Barbecue Company, and today we're making carne asada burritos with the slow and sear. Carne asada literally translates into grilled meat. When I eat a burrito, I like it to be predominantly meat that's complemented well with a few other elements. To go with the burritos, we're making some refried beans, some fire roasted salsa, some guacamole, and a little bit of Mexican rice. The recipe for this is gonna be in the description, so make sure you go check that out when you're done with this video. So let's just get right into it. First off, we have to marinate the steak. In Mexico, they generally marinate all their meats with something called sour orange. And since we don't have that here, we're gonna try and recreate that in a way. So we're just gonna season it with salt. And we're about to squeeze one lime of all of its juice and then about a half of an orange. And then we're gonna let that marinate for about an hour or two. While that's marinating, we're just gonna prepare the guacamole. It's just simply avocado, a little bit of onion, a little bit of jalapeno or serrano chili, some lime juice, a little bit of garlic, some cilantro, put some of those nuts back in there so it doesn't oxidize and cover it up and set that aside. Then I just have some tomatoes, some poblano peppers, some tomatillo, a little bit of red jalapeno, a little bit of an onion and some garlic. And we're gonna fire roast these and then blend them into a salsa. Our meat's been marinating for about an hour. We're gonna prepare the slow and sear for a hot and fast sear. I've got a chimney full of charcoal. I'm gonna get that about 90% white hot before adding it into the slow and sear. Once that's ready to go, then we can get cooking. While that's heating up, I'm gonna pat these dry of all their marinade, get them as dry as I can, coat them with oil right before I throw them on the grill to get them seared. So I've got everything ready. I've got all my stuff for my salsa. I've got my meat that I can just oil real quick and get that ready for the grill. Then I have all my stuff for my refried beans waiting over here that I'm gonna cook last. I got all my burrito fillings here. I got my Mexican rice that's just seasoned with cilantro, a little bit of lime juice, and some salt. I have my refried beans here, made with just a little bit of butter. You can use lard, that's kind of what they make usually. And you can kind of mash them into whatever texture you like. Those are delicious. I got my fire roasted salsa, a little bit of sour cream, and some guacamole. All this stuff is gonna go in the burrito, but not in huge quantities.
Now I got my tortilla, gotta get it warm on the grill. Just gonna throw it right on there. You just wanna get it nice and bendable. So there it is, carne asada burrito. Super, super delicious. Let that meat marinate for long enough so the salt and the citrus had enough time to penetrate it and flavor it well. We have this nice bright Mexican rice that's in there. This sort of rich, creamy, refried beans. A little bit of that guacamole gives it a nice flavor. And then you have a little bit of sour cream. And of course, this beautiful fire-roasted salsa that has just enough heat. I didn't add cheese. Of course, you could add cheese, you could have pico de gallo, whatever you want. This is sort of my idea of a perfect burrito. Not too big, lots of flavor, super delicious. For the full recipe and everything you've seen in today's video, check out the link in the description. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Casado with Adrenaline Barbecue Company, where we didn't invent the kettle, we perfected it.